Leo, happy birthday, Leo. This is Brandy from Tori9.com. I did go ahead and pre-pull these cards because they're quite in-depth. I do like it. Both of them are number 17. Okay, 17. That's like the star, by the way. 17, Phoenix, death, rebirth, death, rebirth. Healing. So that's your theme already and loving it. Loving it. So, so 17 is very, very significant here to... Uh, you Leos out there. You could have an Aquarius rising, dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. You're choosing freedom. I'll tell you that. Usually I premeditate, but this one I'm getting. You're choosing freedom for the restraints of some type of sickness or something that was holding you back. You're choosing to burn that away with some fire for your birthday. It's healing. Okay. So let's go and get this. <clears throat> okay, you can go book your readings at ToriandI.com, by the way. Hello, season of renewal. There is sunshine after the storm. You've been through it. Like those who came before you, are more, you are more than a survivor. You're a thriver. Others are seeing your beauty inside and out. Being vulnerable can feel emotionally awkward, but allow your vulnerability to be a strength and superpower. Come as you are, step into the limelight, be seen, be heard, be a movement. You are the star of your own show called life. You're blessed. It's a lush, beautiful, fertile season of transformation for you. You are nourishing the earth and the earth is nourishing you. Trust your inner guidance as you are perfectly divinely aligned. New ideas are flowing to you and allow yourself to receive them. Ancestral memory, it was inspired by the Chibatos, I think I'm saying that right, third gender people of Nongo, Nongo, whatever. These trans feminine people <laughs> were revered as deeply intuitive with powerful magic. The medicine is things are possible, all of them. You are in the flow. You've been chosen to dream bigger and expand your bloodline. Be generous and loving to share the wealth. The shadow aspect. Things may seem hopeless, but do not lose faith. You're overwhelmed. Hold on. It feels like you're being tested. Hold on. You feel uninspired and disconnected. Hold on. It does get better. Everything gets better. Self-care is necessary for healing, not indulgence. Your declaration is, I am unapologetically me. The spiritual rebirth. Rebirth. The Phoenix. We all like that Phoenix. My cat's out there probably like, hey, mom, open the door. I'm right here. I'm right here. Yeah, yeah, Fee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fee. Alright. <sighs> okay. When the Phoenix Oracle shows up, a major life change is on the horizon. It's very important to prepare yourself. It can mean uncomfortable upheaval, unexpected events, and major shift in your mindset. Your life is about to completely change and never return to the way it was. It is important to release an attachment to the outcome and understand that it is all happening for your soul. It's an ancient occult symbol linked to the zodiac sign Scorpio, death, regeneration, and rebirth. The phoenix was associated with immortality. Infinity. It's not a coincidence that Scorpio in the eighth sign of the zodiac, number eight, is also the shape of the infinity symbol. It's depicted as an eagle like bird with vibrant gold and red feathers that would live for 500 years, die, and then be reborn. The Egyptians believe that before death, the phoenix makes a nest of cinnamon, myrrh, and herbs, and then it sets its nest on fire as it bursts into flames and destroys itself. Then a phoenix rises from those ashes, and it grows strong enough, it creates an egg from its old ashes and places at the altar of the sun god Ra. The phoenix burning invokes an alchemical practice of embodying your true frequency through shadow work, life uphe upheaval, and integration of what's blocking your light. The mystical process of your soul ascension and internal transformation cannot happen without an ego death or dark night of the soul. It teaches that we can go through dramatic shifts in our lives and return renewed. It's time for you to ride the wave of change toward the more aligned and true self. 
new realities are crashing in and it's time for you to transform and have no fear it's part of the process happy birthday <laughs> this is also someone over addiction addiction has been hindering you and you are taking this month to get over it okay you are learning to honor your individuality you could be getting ready to have your stage presence back with the star showing up and the phoenix okay like you've been loyal to something for far too long and they're wanting you to release that they're wanting you to purify and cleanse so i'm seeing some type of addiction whether that's confidence uh, spending, uh, pill popping, whatever. All right. This is good. Happy birthday. <laughs> I mean, especially, let's see, it starts now and it goes into February. So 17th is probably Lent. could be the 17th of August. Taurus, you just see me shuffle. Taurus got the same first card. Out. Three of Wands. Okay. And Page of Swords. Okay. It's almost like you're waiting. You're waiting for something so you can you can cut it out, take off. It's like literally like you're wait you're waiting for something to show up so you can cut the cord and head out the door. <sighs> okay, so it's like you have a new idea, but you're waiting for some type of investment, some type of word. Um and it's really like the valuable asset is actually you. But you have to allow your time to, your, yourself time to think, recover, what's most important. You know, it's your creativity. And if it wasn't for your own creativity, you wouldn't have achieved half of what you have or what you have now. And it's like you want to continue that growth, but you have to release and purify. Okay? Release and purify in order to move forward. You see the three of wands is turning his back. This person has to realize that part of them is done. It is time to grow. It is time to flourish. It is time to heal. It is time to take a stage. Take a step down off that stage to get on another stage. <coughs> I just keep your hand. I ain't got no red American Express. Bum, 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 bum. Can't go nowhere exotic. <laughs> but I'm the one that loves you best. Alright. Phoenix. The hanged man. Like putting yourself in that nest. What's that? Oh, okay. Okay, friends. I didn't mean all those, but we will take every single major arcana over here on the other side. The higher font. The chariot and death. Huh. Ha! Huh. Taking heads. Taking heads on our way out. It's starting to get dark, so I do want to get your, your reading done. So, <sighs> putting yourself in the nest for a rest, a pause, and you feel like you've been pulled in different directions, which is the past, the old way, communicating, doing things, and you need to reflect on what's truly important to you, like tradition or need for structure, um, but you have to be, you have to rebel against that, like let go of that, so you can move forward, so you can figure out what you really want, right, for your new direction. The fact that we have death as the last card for rebirth not shocking right so this is definitely like upheaval and change and success okay so that takeaway is like radical acceptance of your own individuality like it said where you let go of the old 
and know that success is found by making bold choices but moving forward and you may not enjoy that situation right now but it is what it is it's a radical acceptance okay for that success pausing reflecting not doing the traditional aspect you've been doing or just trying to pay your bills or just trying to get by whole new you okay whole whole new you and it's a it's a mixed bag for sure it's gonna grow it's gonna evolve it's a bold bold choice to keep going uh, if it's a matter of the heart it's gonna be challenging because of emotions involved you know giving space giving time apart uh, you know it's not a guarantee they'll come back but it's different it's definitely different it's it's for de determination it's for purpose it's um, improving communication working through issues as a team maybe one person wants to get clean maybe one person wants to move you know it's all this but holding yourself back because you're not going in the same direction is stupid okay it's very stupid don't don't be letting things linger and resolve they, they want eventually this will work out you know and it's like accepting that change gives you new pro new possibilities um, determine action but it's about internal and oneself to achieve the goal to find the happiness because you can't be happy if you're not happy within yourself that's how you get romantic fulfillment that's how you manifest things towards you okay especially for your birthday your birthday month so major change <laughs> recovery detoxing new life path i mean it's all here but it's about improving communication more so and working through issues with with your your internal self okay that have just been unresolved there's too many major signs here but this is powerful we'll just put it that way powerful new you powerful okay choosing freedom choosing to be free of whatever has held you back. Leo. Love you. Happy birthday and I'll catch you later.